Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking about how you can save money and energy. We chose the EcoSmart brand. It is a Home Depot sold product and I will be using these lights for two chandeliers. Each chandelier consists of six lights. So I'll start at the top left. EcoSmart again is the brand. It is a 25 watt replacement, uses only two watts. Below that you will notice $37 in lifetime energy savings. The brightness consists of 200 lumens, and the estimated energy cost per year is 30 cents. That's incredible. Above that, you'll notice that big orange circle lasts 13 years or 15,000 hours, as well as the image of the actual light bulbs just to the right of that. And then up to the top right, LED technology, soft white, and just below that, you'll see that dimmable icon. We find that very important and cool because we will be hooking it up to a dimmer switch. On the back side of the box now, and I'm going to scroll into this portion here, this 2 watt LED bulb provides soft white light similar to a 25 watt B11 incandescent bulb while generating less heat. That's definitely a bonus. And the way they calculate the lifetime estimated savings of the bulb, as well as the total yearly cost of the actual bulb, is right here. Based on 3 hours average use per day, as well as based on 11 cents per kilowatt hour as compared to an incandescent bulb. Now let's shift over to the lighting facts. As you can see, light output lumens 200 watts 2.0. Lumens per watt, 100, and the color accuracy is 80. And as you can see, that's where it falls into on the actual light scale. So let's do our own math real quick. I have two chandeliers, and each chandelier consists of six lights. Each incandescent bulb gives out 25 watts. So let's multiply 25 times 6. That equals 150. So each chandelier is giving out 150 watts while that light switch is turned on. And again, since I have two chandeliers, multiply that 150 times 2. That equals 300 total watts being generated when both of those light switches are on. Now let's do the math for the LED lights. As you can see with the lighting facts, the watt output is 2.0. So this is important because each single LED light itself uses 2 watts to run, and at the same time will give out the exact same brightness as the previous old incandescent 25 watt bulb. However, at a substantial lower required electricity to be used. So again, back to the calculation, I have two chandeliers. Each chandelier consists of six lights. Let's start with one chandelier. Multiplied by 2.0 watts per light equals 12 total watts being generated when that light switch is turned on. And again, since I have two chandeliers, multiply that by two. That totals 24 total watts being generated when both light switches are on. And with that said, with the previous example of 300 watts being generated with the incandescent bulbs, once we take those out and replace them with LED bulbs, that is lower by a substantial amount, thus in return making your energy bill per month a fraction of what it was when you had the incandescent bulbs installed. With that said, let's go ahead and remove all 12 incandescent bulbs and install the 12 LED bulbs. And one thing I recommend prior to handling any of the bulbs, put on rubber gloves because that will alleviate you putting any fingerprints on the new bulbs. And they look pretty darn cool. And again, these are dimmable and on a dimmable switch. At the switch now, I'll go ahead and turn that on and I will show you what it looks like as I adjust the dimmer switch. And again, even at full output, this entire chandelier is only generating 12 watts compared to 150. That is a huge energy savings. Here's a quick view of the second chandelier. All six incandescent bulbs removed and the six new LED bulbs installed. And as you can see here, they look really cool. So that's it. As you can see, LED balls are a huge advantage. Do me a favor, right below the video, there's that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notifications, because again, once you do that, every video we upload, you will be notified, and you will be able to stay up to date and hang out with us as we upload videos. Thanks again.